Thank you, Jesus. Come on, clap your hands and give the Lord some praise. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. You're going to have to put your hands together. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me down. Jesus, I'll never forget the love How can I forget? How can I forget? I used to be free. How can I forget? How you brought me down. How can I forget? Forget. Jesus, I'll never forget.
and worship Jesus. Yes. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but that song 
is talking about me. A life bound by heartache and defeat. That's me. So the cross is the only thing that could have made a difference in such a life. Can you lift your hands and praise him? singing thank you Lord thank you Lord that you ever thought of me thank you Lord that you ever thought of me anybody here know that you didn't deserve for the Lord to think about you yes thank you Lord that one day you thought about me Somehow you found a way to include me in the plan of salvation. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Well, let's move around now. We're so happy to see everybody. And we can't greet everybody specially, but you can. If you move around and greet 150 people, you can make them feel special. Move from your seat if you can, and from the front to the back, from the front to the back, from the east to the west, just move around and greet many people.
Well, we certainly just want to welcome every single individual who is here. Amen. We want to welcome every single individual who is here. It's not possible for us to come and greet every single individual, but it's possible for every person to be greeted by somebody. And it's possible for every person to be greeted by many persons. Amen. And one of the things the Bible says is that a man that hath friends must show himself friendly. So a good thing to do if you want to have friends is to show yourself friendly. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. We want to welcome in a very special way our brothers and sisters who were away on the overseas work program yeah. and they have returned. Where are you? Would you all stand up, please? All of our brethren who were away, stand up. Amen. Amen. Let's clap for them. It's wonderful that you are back. And I know, I know that as much as we are rejoicing that you are back, your wife and your children and your other fam family members are even more happy than we are. Amen. Um, last week after service ended, some precious ladies came to see me and told me that uh, one of their relatives was critically ill in the Kingston Public Hospital. The doctors had actually said there was no hope and um, they just um, wanted for us to visit with him and to uh, see if he wanted to be baptized and we just want to let you know that he came this morning and the brethren have taken him to make sure that he's baptized in Jesus name so we want to let you know that amen we took him down by Bethel at South Camp Road and we give the Lord thanks for that and we just want to let you know that you might have heard that we are not baptizing in Jesus name anymore that is going around the place but don't believe it folks all right let's lift our hands and worship Jesus <laughs> Now you're going to be hearing all sorts of things, but just check with the source. <laughs> um, so brethren, really, I just, I just want to make sure everybody feels welcome. I was going to say all persons who are not members, would you stand? But then all of us would have to stand because... We really don't have any members yet, but um, anybody who is visiting with us for maybe the first or second time, would you stand? Wow, 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 wow. Let's clap our hands for all these precious people. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so very much for coming. We deeply appreciate you, and um, we're just very happy that you are here. This evening at 6, what time? We are going to be meeting here, and we will be sharing with you... Uh, from our hearts, uh, some very important information, things that 
we need to know uh, in respect of where we have come from and where we are going and then uh, after that we're going to have breakout sessions which will be uh, guided by some special people who we have chosen and these will facilitate us just wrapping just sharing just talking about how we have been personally affected and maybe providing some answers and some clarity to some of the situation so uh, brothers and sisters you wouldn't want to miss that so please come we'll have the gymnasium specially arranged and as you come wherever you sit that's where you're going to be um, for the rest of the evening it's going to be a great time and I believe the Lord is going to meet with us amen and <clears throat> you need to get some facts as well amen and then on Thursday evening at 6 30 we're going to be having not Bible study but just a great uh, Holy Ghost service at the Jamaica Scouts Association headquarters where we meet on Thursdays now just come amen just be there um, I don't think it will rain I don't think it will rain and it's it's cool to sit in the open so just come don't worry about where you're going to be seated just come and let's worship the Lord bring somebody with you we want to see several persons receiving the Holy Ghost amen amen, amen. amen. all right all right all right all right um, we're happy to have our field workers with us and they have just asked me to give them two minutes to uh, I think I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do but I think it is some promotion so come quickly folks where are our field workers all of you come run I know you're not as young as you used to be Brother Late Macintosh, you can run. Brother Ferguson, you can run. Just praise the Lord, everybody. Um, a lot has fallen on me this morning to make a presentation. Through all the mayhem that has been going on, we the field workers and some other persons decided that in all of the bad we wanted to make some good out of it and all of us like good news so we realized that social media is the place where a lot of persons had a lot to share and we decided that we would do something very special so we scouted most of the social media sites and came up with a little booklet. And this booklet has at least 38 pages. And the 38 pages are all good words, encouraging words, words of affirmation, words of love, words of encouragement to Pastor John Mark Bartlett. Amen. Sir, please come this way. He's giving me the eye, but it's a good eye. It's a grace eye. <laughs> Sir, this is the best time to show grace today. Amen. Amen. On the front of the book, it says, to our pastor, God bless you always. Grace changes everything. On the second page of the, the book, I'm going to read it. It says, this is a dedication of love to you, sir. Pastor John Mark Bartlett, a man of valor, worth, standard, integrity, and most of all, a man of love 
and grace. You have to stand up beside me, sir. Today and always, we stand with you, behind you, before you, and most of all, around you. We want you to feel our love and support always. It has been an honor to have you as a pastor, confidant, counselor, friend, supporter, stalwart of the gospel. And indeed, a man of God. We love you deeply and dearly, sir, and will endeavor to show it every chance we get. This is just a token to show a bit of how much we love and appreciate you. Stand with God, go with God, and continue on the path that he leads you. Continue to do excellently for the master. We love you. I just want to say to you folks, thank you very much. I know this must have taken some amount of effort and time, and I really appreciate it. And I want to thank you for your support, which has been evident from day one, from day one. I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, these folks who are here, um, since they have put me under pressure, I can put them under pressure. Yes, yes, yes. They have been a tower of strength to me. They have served me. And I mean not just by conducting fasting and prayer and deliverance ministry, counseling. Um, they have prayed for so many persons, um, but just their ministry to me. I tell you, brothers and sisters, sometimes they will say to me, Pastor, they'll come into the office that I used to use, and they'll say, Pastor, um, you're going anywhere soon? And I said, no, what happened? Sir, we have just come to ask if we can clean your shoes. I have to be careful what I think around them. If I think and speak aloud, I feel for a party. No matter what it's going to cost them, they're going to do it for me. So they have been tremendous supporters and uh, I'd like for you to give them a hand clap and they for about four or five years they have been saying to me pastor you not going to be here long enough, you know, meaning at Pentecostal Tabernacle. Um, the Lord has shown us that you don't have a lot of time left. I used to laugh at them. And at a certain point in time, they said, Pastor, you have a very little time left. And I was laughing at them. And now they are laughing at me. But we give the Lord thanks and they have said to me, you know, Pastor, wherever you go, we will support you. And so what I want for you to do is to help us to pray that the Lord will open up somewhere for us that we can just conduct operations like we normally did and so that we can have a place for these brethren to continue working with people who are broken. Amen. 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 
God bless you, brethren. Thank you very much. Right, I don't even remember where I was. Where was I? Welcoming. Welcoming, yes. Ushers, would you come please? I have some friends. I'm not going to call upon them. I have some friends who ever since we have started the Grace Workshop, they have not missed one service and um, I, I want to serve them notice that they are not going to just come here and be idle but we have a lot of work to do amen brethren I've been saying to us that you know once you are you are working with people and dealing with people you're going to have problems amen? amen and I've been saying to us that in a congregation of this size there will be persons who we may not have treated very well and who may not have treated us very well. But I hope you understand that the Lord has given us an opportunity to start over. And I hope you understand that we're not carrying anything from the past. We're not carrying anything from way back, nor from the recent past. Amen. And if you don't think that that is right, then the grace workshop is not for you because we're dealing with grace. And um, we're going to, as I said, speak to some things a little later. Oh, let me just, rem just say this. Brethren, it's being said that I am migrating to Canada. I have no plans to migrate to Canada. I have no plans to migrate anywhere. All right? So just settle yourself. If the Lord tarries and if my life is spared, you have me to deal with for a long time. All right? All right, let's stand. Uh, brothers and sisters, I want us all to pray in respect of the offering now. I want us to pray about a couple of things. I want us to ask the Lord to help us to understand that giving is a part of the worship experience. Amen. It's a very important part of the worship experience. And we need to be able to appreciate that. That's one. Two, we need to pray and ask the Lord to help us to understand that when we give, we are giving as unto the Lord. And the offerings the tithe that is received is used to do the work of the kingdom and I want you to pray thirdly that those who are charged with the responsibility will will make sure that that responsibility is is seriously attended to so that God can get the glory. Amen? Amen. Um, brethren, 
I know that we are strange persons and I know that um, things have happened in the church world that are disconcerting, but I'm told of a pastor who went to a certain church and um, he said to the people, he said, uh, do, he pointed to the pastor of the church and he said, do you trust this man with your soul? And most of them, a great majority of them said yes. And the pastor then said, so how is it you can't trust him with your money? So brethren, one of the things we want you to know is that we do not want to get rich off your money. Amen? We have no such agenda. And if you really know me, you would know that. Amen? We could have done that, but that's not our agenda. Amen? So whatever we get, of course we have to live. And, um, you know, to satisfy the earthly needs. But um, we understand that we have to be accountable to God. Amen? So let's pray, everybody, about these things as we prepare to give today. Amen, amen. Uh, brethren, next Sunday we will be praying for some babies. We'll be having our first blessing of babies. So we want you to remember that. And please remember that the last Sunday of this month we'll be having, receiving a very special offering in respect of what? New Year's Eve service. Amen. Please remember that. We're going to be marching with our gifts now and our musicians and singers will be leading us in worship as we come. Jesus, he's a way maker. Jesus, he's a way maker. Jesus. He's a way maker one day. He made a way of oh glory when I was lost in sin. He came and took me in one day. He made a way for me. Jesus, He's a way maker. Jesus, He's a way maker. Jesus. He's a way maker one day He made a way of glory When I was lost in sin He came and took me in one day He made a way for me Oh, Jesus He's a way maker, Jesus 
He's a way maker, Jesus. He's a way maker one day. He made a way of glory when I was lost in sin. He came and took me in one day. He made a way for me. Oh, Jesus. He's a way maker, Jesus. He's a way maker, Jesus. He's a way maker one day. He made a way of glory when I was lost in sin. He came. One day he made a way for me. One more time, Jesus. He's a way maker, Jesus. He's a way maker, Jesus. He's a way maker one day. Oh, when I was lost in sin, he came and took me in one day. He made a way for me. Let's do it again, Jesus. He's a way maker, Jesus. He's a way maker, Jesus. He's a way maker one day. Oh, when I was lost in sin, Jesus came and took me in one day. He made a way for me. Tell it to a living soul How he brought salvation and it made me whole I found I could hide such love that Jesus did in part For it makes me laugh and it makes me cry Sets my sinful soul on fire Hallelujah when he comes It's his love in my heart
every time I need the Lord. Surely I need Him now. I need Him when the sun goes down. I need Him in the morning. I need
Aleluia 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 Lift your hands and worship the Lord Surely Surely the presence of the Lord Is in this place Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody here you just want to express yourself to Jesus? Don't be afraid. Just express yourself to Jesus. Don't let anybody stifle your expression. Don't let anybody cramp your style. I came to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Oh. When you come to church, you need to just say to the person beside you, Excuse me, but I'm a worshiper. Excuse me, but I just might, I just might do something strange. Excuse me, but I love Jesus. And I can't forget what he's done for me. I'm sorry. But I know what he has done for me. skill we don't have the talent we don't have the ability no great names here no famous ones here no celebrities nobody who can do anything except as we are enabled by God so we celebrate the one who is everything to us and his name is Jesus we make no apologies. His name is Jesus. Down with men. Down with men and up with Jesus. Yes. We've, we've heard too much about men. We have trusted too much in men. It's time to exalt Jesus. See him high and lifted up. While you're standing, we're very happy uh, to have with us Minister Demoy Nash. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is now an unofficial member of the Grace Workshop because there are no official members. All of us are unofficial. And so, there are some persons who have just made a commitment to be with us and to uh, be committed to what we're doing. And so, he has said to us, you know, I'm on board. Hallelujah. And so, we're very happy for that. And um, 
his precious wife is here with him and um, we're happy that sister nash is here amen their daughter is here with us and she's our great friend amen 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 um, and so minister nash i've asked him just to come and minister of the lord this morning and um, as he comes let's lift our hands and glorify god Amen. praise the name of the lord just keep the worship for at least a minute more hallelujah it's all right to say his name it's all right to say his name hallelujah 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 jesus you are sovereign in every realm sovereign in every dominion in every domain hallelujah hallelujah praises be to the name of our god angels bow before him angels bow before him he's the king of kings the king of the heavens and the earth he's our king hallelujah somebody call him by his name somebody call him by his name that is our god that is our god come on clap your hands for jesus hallelujah jesus we worship you to you be honor dominion and power now and forevermore while you're standing let us read a portion of scripture from god's holy word turn to the book of saint luke chapter one and let us read a few verses from verse 25 downwards. I'll read and you'll follow. And after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived and hid herself five months, saying, Thus hath the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin exposed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary and the angel came in unto her and said hail thou art highly favored the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and when she saw him she was troubled at is saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be and the angel said unto her fear not mary for thou hast found favor with god thou hast found grace with god and behold thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus he shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and 
of his kingdom, there shall be no end. I'm just going to skip over to verse 38. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. And Mary arose in those days and went into the ill country with Ace, into a city of Judah, and entered into the house of Zechariah and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the baby, sorry, the babe leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Bow your heads everywhere. To our great God, Jesus is your name. Lord, as I stand before your people, we have come to hear from you. And so we ask of you today that you'll download, Lord Jesus, even now, Lord, your words. Lord, let it go forth with clarity, with power and anointing, that your people will be edified and you will receive all glory. Lord, we come against every spirit, everything, in this place, Lord, and this atmosphere that will go against your plan today. Let your will be done. In your name we pray. Amen. You can be seated. Praise the Lord Jesus. It is my delight to be here this morning to worship the true and living God of glory. We serve a great God. And to think the thought that such a God could have chosen us from sin and disgrace. It just behoves us to worship him and to give him all the glory and all the praise. Let me greet our pastor, Pastor John Mark Bartlett and his wife, and to the family of grace, the Lord bless you richly in the name of Jesus. I'm glad to have my family here as well. The Lord bless you. I want to use for a topic today, the demands of grace. Touch somebody beside you and tell them the demands of grace. Praise the Lord Jesus. Grace comes with demands. Praise the Lord Jesus. To think the thought that God saw nothing on this earth, it was altogether blackness. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. And we saw God's spirit moved upon the waters. There was nothing to be desired. It was a world of pitch black darkness. But he shined his light and darkness had to move. And we saw then God doing his creative work in the Genesis. Above all God's creation, God created man, the very summit of his creation. When God looked at man, he saw, praise God, what he had already made before the foundation of the world. Him, God, coming in like manner, praise the Lord Jesus, to redeem even this man that will be lost while he made the man. Can I submit to you that pray, the redemption plan is not a knee-jerk reaction of God. It was in God's sovereign plan to demonstrate his wonderful grace and favor to mankind. Oh, glory be to God. Now when the devil thought he entered the garden and he messed things up, he was really working for God. Don't you know he's an ex-employee that God evicted him out of heaven. He fired him because he was a poor 
poor workman. And today we are in a greater place than what that devil once occupied. Because we are not just chosen by his name, but we have got the blood of Jesus running in our veins. Somebody give God glory. And so if you read your Bible well, you'll find that maybe it's the only blank page in the Bible after you leave Malachi. If you go through your tablet and your phone, you might not see it on your Bible app. But if you go through the authorized King James Version, there's usually a blank page following Matthew before, Mark before Matthew. And that represents a period where man didn't hear from God for hundreds of years. It was total silence and nothingness. God did no work on earth. That was a period of where just after God had dealt with man with his laws. Praise God. And because of the law, man came to an understanding and knowledge of sin. Because the law was what gave man knowledge of sin. Because sin is the transgression of the law. But then God, praise the Lord, in praise the Lord, the, 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 the redeeming time of God, the opportune time of God, the selected time of God, through 40 and 2 generations, when God, praise the Lord, got up in heaven. I don't know which day it was, but he said to Gabriel, it is time for man to experience my unlimited grace, my favor without limited, my favor without boundary. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus. And let me tell you today, I will be a part of nothing that put boundaries on God's favor. I'll be a part of nothing, praise the Lord God, that tells me my God is not sovereign and that my God can't do what he wants when he wants. Praise the Lord Jesus. He does report to a parliament. He does report to an executive. He does report to a board of trustee. God operates after the counsel of his own will. Somebody give God glory. And so he said to the angel Gabriel, this is where I want you to go. I don't want you to go to the palace of Caesar in Rome. I don't want you to go to the palace of Herod. I don't want you to go to the governmental place of Pontius Pilate. I want you to go to Galilee, even a city called Nazareth. When you inspect by history Nazareth, you'll find this man when God called him Nathaniel said can any good thing come from Nazareth Nazareth I there are few places maybe I've never heard in the land of Jamaica a place that somebody question can thing come from there because you can name me the most notorious garrison and people of high esteem live there oh praise the Lord Jesus but this Nazareth there was nothing good that was there nothing to be desired it was a it was a rural village praise the Lord it had no great school it had no place for philosophers praise the Lord there was nothing great about it but this great God condescended and he said, this is where I will choose to be my birthplace. My God is sovereign. And nobody could have said to him, don't choose Nazareth. Go up into the Mecca, the city of Jerusalem. He said, Nazareth, this is where it shall be. I want to even stretch my imagination that Nathaniel might even question the veracity of virgins that comes from Nazareth. If he's saying, can any good thing comes from there? But 
This is where God chose a virgin Mary. I want to ask the question, what did Mary do to be chosen? Was there anything spectacular? When I read history, the only thing I can hear them say, even the Catholics, they say, Mary, mother of God. But this would be after the birth of Jesus. Before this, there's nothing spectacular about Mary, only that she came from the tribe of Judah. And there were many other there, many others that came from this tribe. So why did God choose him? The question is, why did God choose me? Why did God choose you, you and you? Why did he went down in the pit and the mock and the debauchery and the rottenness of sin to pull me out? That's why when we walk up in church, we can't come up in here like we are anybody too goody, 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 goody. We have got to realize we are nothing. And it's just because of the grace of Almighty God. So grace drives men to worship Him. When you entertain the thought that God could look beyond my fault, your fault, and choose you. That's the only thing you need to worship God. Oh, glory be to God. Rules and regulation will not make you worship him. But favor to know he demonstrates his favor. Somebody give God glory here. Grace. Rules and laws. Breed pride. When laws are instituted, keepers of the law get proud because there are some that break it. So over the breakers, the keepers take preeminence. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus. But grace levels the floor. We all glow that the breakers and the keepers are one before God. And he gets glory. Somebody give God glory for grace. Grace demands a response. Since God comes here in Nazareth and he selects you, Mary, that demands response from you. It demands of you to be humble, Mary. Because I could have chosen any other virgin. But I choose you. So there's nothing for you to boast about. It's my choosing. It's my selection. Oh, glory be to God. I feel God saying something here. And so, church, let, let us understand this. That grace... Is not a license, praise the Lord God, to do whatsoever you want. Because when Mary found out that now she's favored and picked by Jesus, and she's carrying Jesus, and, and let, let us look at it. The angel said to him, this Jesus inside of you, can't dead. Can't dead. He is thrown shall be forever. Now that could have been a license for Mary to live one time because the baby can't dead. But Akoshama, this favor drive Mary to walk circumspect. Hallelujah be to God. This favor, watch, made her watch where she step. Watch what she eat. Watch how she conduct herself. She couldn't sit down any and anywhere because she's carrying the eternal God of glory. 
can I submit to somebody that when you got the Holy Ghost, you got the eternal God of glory, so you can't behave any and any way. You're carrying baby Jesus. Just give me a little volume and the monitors, please. I want to tell somebody, we refute every doctrine that gives license to people to behave as they please and as they choose. Grace brings man into covenant with God. It moves man from regulation to relationship. It brings man, praise the Lord, from distance to intimacy. And so when you begin to walk with God, oh, you begin to understand when you sin really, you don't break a rule, you break God's heart. And because you're in love with him, who wants to break their lover's heart? Especially when your lover is a God like Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. I feel like praise him under here. I feel like give him glory. Grace demands Mary for you to give praise. Mary, just imagine what Mary was going through. She is now pregnant, very pregnant. And she can't tell anybody that she's pregnant. Jesus will set you up. Move everybody from around you that you trust in. Move the systems you once depend on. For you to put all reliance. Oh glory be to God. A life of grace is structured and ordered. And your instruction and your manual comes from the word of God. Listen what Mary said. Do unto me as according to thy word. He, she did not say do according to the preamble and the articles of faith in a constitution or a book of governance. She said let the word be my manual. Let the word Word be my instruction. So the grace of God said to her, Don't you know grace is a teacher? I tell my wife, I can't even live right. I can't even be faithful to you unless this Jesus keeps me faithful. Don't you know just like there was nothing good from Nazareth? Can I tell you nothing good in you? Can I tell you there's nothing good in me? We are just a modified mud ball of mess. But because of God, the story is rewritten. Because of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grace demands a witness. When you have received the grace of God, you can't sit down behind walls. Ministry is birthed. I said, when you get the grace of God, when you understand the grace of God, it lights a fire in you. You have got to tell it. Who can Mary go to? Now the teacher Grace says, go to Elizabeth. Let us examine Elizabeth briefly. She's a old woman who has a great reproach over her. Barren. Unfruitful. And there's no technology then that could introduce nothing into her home. She's very dead. And at her age, she's very dead. There's a reproach. When she walk, there goes the mule. When she walk, watch that one who God cursed her home. She had to live with that. Now you taught your experience. disqualified you you thought your failure got rid of you and exempt you but really failure 
is not final. And your failure becomes a part of the recipe for God to use you and for the, for the, for the purpose you were born for. Somebody give God glory. And so all you went through, Elizabeth, is for this one virgin to come up at your yard who can't tell anybody to whisper to tell you, I'm pregnant and the baby daddy is Jesus. Everybody else would say you're crazy. It's fornicate, you fornicate. You know we love to judge. Oh, oh, but I want to tell somebody, when you went through that situation, I tell you, God have some people line up to come to you. So get ready, because let me tell you, a revival is on the horizon. And God going to use some Elizabeth to talk to some Mary, and some Mary to salute some Elizabeth. I say something big is cooking. I'm getting there. I'm going to talk about that in a little right away you can't be a witness if you don't have experience we would love if if everybody got the holy ghost from their womb from the womb and come out and no sin we would love that but the truth is nothing god would have used for you and there will be no need for god because he couldn't wash nobody sins away the cross would be of no significance you don't hear me in here i said as much as if we were born polished and would love that there would be no need for god but it was while you were messed up some of you it was in the middle of the night god visit you some some of you maybe it was in the rum bar some of you were doing something you were even thinking of god and god had to pull you so fast he had to pluck you out so quick because anything could have happened to you can i tell you there are some things that should have happened to you that even worse than what you went through but god in his sovereign plan said this is enough i can use this for what i want so he picked you out just in time can i tell you, you are a just in time selection you are a just in time oh glory be to god selection of almighty god let me touch this little verse here listen to this verse verse 39 and mary arose in those days and went to the ill country with ace the Bible could have said the name of the country, you know. Did mention it. The ill country. Who is pregnant and going to climb Blue Mountain? Because when you see Blue Mountain, fear comes in. And fear now is going to prevent you from going there. But grace demands faith even though the evidence says it's risky going to the ill country that elizabeth is hiding i want you to take the risk oh glory be to jesus I'm saying to you, church, that God wants you to stop. Look at the evidence in your situation. The devil is a liar. Stop listening to the roaring of the dragon. Stop look at the ugliness of your situation and just begin to walk. Don't sit idly and be the football of the devil. Get up in the middle of your situation. Arise and go to the ill country. Can I tell you what the ill country? name the ill country is the city of judah what does judah mean judah mean praise grace demands praise i said go shamba i said when you are in the middle of your circumstances grace allows you to be going through it to 
stimulate praise. I said grace allows you to go through what you are going through to create a type of praise only reserved for God. Hallelujah be to Jesus. Let me, let me remind you of a story here. When those that were distressed and discontented, oh praise the Lord, and were in debt, went down to the cave at Dulam. And when God came, G-A-D, God came, the prophet came to Adullam. He said to them, stop, stay down here and get up out of the hold and go up to Judah. Stop murmuring. Stop worrying. I see God picked out a body called Grace Workshop. Pick them out of limitations. Pick them out of boundaries and put them praise God where they have got to rely on faith they don't have a building for themselves they are not even members yet of a system but they are saints of almighty God he has put them together to lead Jamaica in a type of praise that Jamaica has never seen before the world is waiting on a kind of a praise a shopper that it has never seen before. I wonder somebody realize it's time for revival. You are discontented. You are fed up. But it's a recipe for revival. I stop by to tell you grace brings revival. I said grace demands revival when you understand that God has favored you you want your marriage to revive you want your family to restore you want everybody to get a taste of what you are tasting that's revival now grace brings what? Revival. What's the revival Mary going to experience? Mary is from the lineage of David. Not God said, I will give him the throne and the kingdom of who? His father David. God was going to what? Revive. Restore. Put back. Fill up again the ruins of the throne of David. There are some stuff in Jamaica that needs to be revived. We have become a people, and I'm speaking about the apostolics. None is excluded. You don't have to give me their labels. We have become a people. It's the best Pentecost I've ever looked. Is the most educated Pentecost has ever been. And we have so, sat down on our laurels because of where we are now. And there's a mentality that the apostolic church has arrived. But I want to tell you something. We weren't lost. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus. And so there, there's no need for an arrival. What there needs to be, praise the Lord, down with men. We need a demotion of men. We need to stop seeing men and see God. We need to stop seeing systems and see God. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus. We need to realize God reserved the right to do what he wants when he wants and so when we come to church God I come here just for you I might love Pastor Bartlett but get out of the way I'm here to see Jesus because the hell I am going through it demands a Jesus to smash my situation to resurrect my expectation to resurrect my faith my situation demands and somebody that can do something supernatural for me. So church, it's not coincident that God out of 72 spoke a little parable 
that 60 went somewhere else and 12 were selected. And in this 12, it was not the best. In that 12, there were Dunsed, if you please. In that 12, there were robbers, tax collectors at the time. In that 12, you had Pharisee, people who just want laws and rules. In that time, you had people like Nathaniel, and he's a man of no guile. In that time, you had some fishermen. They were from the very rudiment of society. But that was God's selection. And that was the recipe for a revival that Joel spoke about. That the revival revival tree would bud again and when he sent them to the upper room let me tell you something they were destined to receive the Holy Ghost just because of God's favor they never deserve it it wasn't warranted I said they were out of order but grace got them back in line maybe the rooster followed Peter up there and was crowing in his head but when the Holy Ghost came it erased all the memories it erased all failures it erased miss up it erased what was done already and it point them to a future that would be inundated with the power of Almighty God every revival comes out of grace at the turn of the 20th century pray the 19th century about 1901 1902 Charles Parham oh praise the Lord started his little school and when they when they were doing their little thing God came down and that little set of people they had no reputation they weren't anybody popular and what God did was to turn the entire world upside down there was a there was racial divide there was a little one high slave that God picked William Seymour if I was God in that racial time maybe that would not be my selection and I'd have made sure the two highs were working but it's God's choice you might not like me but who cares I am God's choice touch your neighbor and say you might not like me but who cares I'm God's choice. Come on, thank him for his grace. 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 Church, I'm going to finish. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. It says in genealogy that the first generation that receives something will hold true to it. They will follow it to the T. The second generation, there will be some modifications. By it reach the third generation, maybe they, don't, they, they look totally different from the starting point. This genealogical principle should have followed David when he came, they were expecting that he would follow Saul and how Saul governed. But David said, no, this is the generation of them that seek his face, not his hands. We have been doing too much about the hands of God. And what God can give and the provision of God. And we are basking in God's goodies. But, God Almighty, grace drives you to the face of God. Oh, Moses, you can't see me. But Moses said, I'm not coming down from up here till I see you. Listen to what grace did. He said, I am going to hide you. That when I pass, you can what? See my back parts. The story is not finished yet. When Jesus was on the Mount of Transfiguration, 
Who was one of the three up there? Oh God Almighty. And this time, Moses didn't just see back part. Moses saw the transfigured Christ. I come to tell somebody, stand by for revival. There's a move that's going to be in Jamaica. It's going to send the gleaner to grace workshop. It's going to send the observer to workshop. It's going to be a buzz on the internet. Something Jamaica has never seen. A people who have become discontented with just rules and laws but want to see the power demonstrated in the highland of Jamaica can we stand under here Jamaica is waiting the world is waiting and on a revived bunch people are red hot and fire for God I said God don't send some people in here some back road people some people out at the rum bar God gonna send some retired prostitute God gonna change some people God I said God has rise up to be mechanics right across Jamaica he's gonna send some people in here are you ready you have been unpicked for this I am tired of hearing about the revival of the 70s. My generation, never born in the 70s. I want to see a no move. Don't tell me when it was like smoke on a certain rooftop because the people praise. I'm seeing something that's starting rocking in a university it's gonna spread it's gonna be like liquid fire people gonna abandon some stuff and say listen me let us follow the trend when we analyze the trend we can say a lot of things that's not good but we only see Jesus working Jesus is about to do something with you come on look at you look at you you have been unpicked for this mary can i tell you that jesus is not able to go anywhere but where you take him mary oh glory you don't hear that i said mary jesus is not able to go anywhere except where you take him i want to tell you god is recruiting a set of warriors radicalized warriors that's only gonna see jesus and the only place he will go is where you take him are you ready are you ready we're going up to the hill country we're going up by faith there's a city to be taken are you ready we're going up we're going up we're going up I'm ready, I'm ready to dance in revival rain. I'm ready to see God fill people by the drove. I'm ready to see the sick heal. I'm really ready to see laying of hands and people speak in tongues. I am ready for the demonics to run out of church because of the power and the stench of the anointed. I am ready to see something I have never seen before. Are you ready? We're opening up this altar. If anybody, if there's a Mary here, God is sending out some Mary to salute Elizabeth. Watch this. When Mary salute Elizabeth, the baby leap, but was not filled. It was Elizabeth who got the Holy Ghost. If God did give John the Holy Ghost, maybe Elizabeth wouldn't get it. But this was something out of the ordinary that has never happened before. You see, the baby is attached to the feeding tube of Elizabeth and so when the Holy Ghost struck Elizabeth it struck John and caused John to leap just at the salutation 
I want to tell somebody you're arm and dangerous. And when you go to your workplace, you need to start make some salutation. You need to turn it upside down with the grace of God. When you go back home, turn it upside down. Hallelujah be to God. When you're driving in the traffic, let somebody here coming out of your car. The power of the Holy Ghost that's going to shock us under. That's going to turn somebody life upside down. I am ready for it. I say I'm ready for it. I want those that need Jesus on the inside. Is there a Mary? There might be nothing good mentioned about you. But could you come? Could you come? Jesus want to leap in your belly today, Elizabeth. Could you come? You have been hiding for five months, Elizabeth. You are ashamed, Elizabeth. But time for shame is up. Time for shame and disgrace is up. God want to come inside of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody, it doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter where you have been. Elizabeth! Your reproach days are over. God want to leap inside of you. Anybody want God to leap inside of you? Oh, Koshando Lomosata Laba Koshato Lomosata. Oh, Koshama. Grace demands a response of repentance and deadly sorrow for sin. When you know that you have been favored by God, highly favored, nothing can stop you from responding and say, Oh, such a God would have been so gracious to me to wipe away my reproach. Oh, my reproach for years. Now you can stop hide. Favor is on you. Praise God forever. Oh, hallelujah. As, you, as they come into the altar, we need some people just to lay hands on those that need hands to be laid on them. And it's not just laying hands. We don't want no theatrics. You don't have to press them. You don't have to push them. The Bible just says, lay your hands on them and they shall be recovered. Lay your hands with faith, not force. Just lay your hands on them. You don't have to be shoving and pushing. You just need to lay your hands on them and declare out of your spirit what is it you want God to do in their life. And it shall be done. It shall be done. If you can't touch somebody, you just need to wave your hands over them. And the very shadow of the palm of your hands. Well, this is a transformation zone. Right now, this altar, we are, we are declaring it a transformation zone. Anybody that comes into this zone will feel the blood of Jesus. Will feel the touch of Jesus. You will feel the Holy Ghost moving on you. Hallelujah. We declare this a special zone of transformation. Singers, get ready, but we are going to pray. I want everybody across this hall right now to stretch their hands to this altar. Hallelujah. 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 Those at the altar, if you are near somebody, you can put your hands on them. There's going to be a transference happening right here. Oh, if you are faith, stretch your hands here. Shando Masata. I say, you shall lay hands on them and they shall recover. Shako Masamba. Bando Rabu Kosha. Andio Masata. We're going to pray. I want to declare some stuff on this altar. I want to declare people getting the Holy Ghost. I want to declare people getting healing. I want you, I want you to declare. 
hold that the spell of poverty in somebody's life is going to be broken. I want to declare over somebody their life will be transformed. I want to declare somebody is going to receive God's grace. I want to declare somebody newness, newness. Somebody stand by for freshness. Your whole stale memories are going something fresh. Something fresh. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. Hall I feel God stretching out here already. Ah, ah. Hallelujah. 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 I feel Jesus here. I say I feel Jesus here. Hallelujah is moving at the altar already. Somebody let us pray. Let us pray. Divine God of authority and power. Jesus is your name. Jesus is your name. A God of second chances. A God of third chances. A God of infinite chances. A God of mercy and favor. We don't deserve you. We are undeserving. There's no merit in us giving you your favor. But Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to spread out at this altar. Stretch out in somebody. Move like liquid fire. Burn out sin and trust. Burn out carnal weaknesses. Burn up reproaches. Burn up shame. Burn up disgrace. Let your grace permeate this atmosphere. Let your grace begin to flow like when Jordan came down bank to bank. God Almighty under here, send your angels to ward off this territory. Lord, we enact a special zone, a transformation where lives are going to be transformed right now. Jesus is your name. Receive glory from your people. Do your work yourself. March up and down in the belly of man. Sit upon us. Cloven tongues of fire. Let us experience Pentecost again. Shaka Sata. Rabo Koshando. Mandaria Basata Mama Masha. Move God without limit. Move without restriction. Move without blockage. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Be with us. Fill us. Inhabit us. Spread out in us. Shama. Yes, some people gonna speak in tongues for the first time. Shata la basata. Hakana mama sanda. In the name of Jesus, we are the worshipers. Come on, let me sing us. We gonna worship God. Come on, lift your hands across here. Jesus just wants his worship. He just wants his worship. Hallelujah. Let fire go out through the window and spread on the dormitory rooms around here. Come on, somebody worship God under here. Hallelujah. Die in the glory. Hakashama. Hallelujah. Help me, somebody worship God. Go up to the ill country of Judah. Go up to the ill country of Judah. Worship and bow down. Worship the living God of glory. Celebrate his name. Celebrate his greatness. Hallelujah. Yes. Anointing and fire. Sit upon your people. Hallelujah. Bow down and worship him. Worship him. Hallelujah. Oh, worship him.
service. Oh, worship Him. Yes, bow down and worship Him. Bow down and worship Yes! Yes! And turn Worship Him. Oh, worship Him. Give myself away. 
Teach me. 
爱你。
is it like to be an eagle and to fly? What's it like to leave the best and so the sky? Fly. Oh, there's something. 